T minus two days, everyone. T minus one day. T minus five hours? They're two minutes away. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Hello, friends, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Emma. If you don't know me already, <laughs> I feel like if you're watching my vlogs, you probably know me. I think I might do a little bit of a different video today. So if you've watched some of my previous vlogs, you will know that we are getting a cat. We're getting a cat soon. T minus two days. What? It's so close. I'm so excited. I thought I would bring you on a little bit of a plantish catish journey of like how I'm prepping for her arrival. Cause like obviously I've got like a bajillion plants. I thought it would be a fun, interesting video just to talk about how I'm prepping and like show her when she arrives and stuff. Cause that's like really exciting to me. <laughs> yeah, like this is the kind of video that I would watch on YouTube. So I figure why not show it? And there will still be plantish stuff in there. I'm not gonna make it all about the cat, but it's mostly about the cat. I also thought I would talk a little bit about the charity we're adopting from because it's a really good charity and it kind of explains like why things are happening the way they are. So if you don't want to hear about the cat rescue charity, skip to this time below and it'll be more about plants and cats rather than like me talking at the camera. So we're rescuing our cat from a charity called Safe Haven Egypt. I've gotten a lot of questions about why you would like adopt a cat from a different country if there's like cats in this country that don't have homes. Well, basically the situation in Cairo at the minute is that there's so, 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 so many cats, like street cats. There are a lot of cats that need help in Cairo. There's too many cats, there's systemic poisoning of them and stuff. It's, it's like, it's a massive problem. And so there's this charity called Safe Haven Egypt. They have set up a rescuing cat shelter in Cairo in a few apartments and they basically rescue and rehabilitate these cats and then they're put up for adoption by people all over the world. Like they send cats to the US, they send cats to the UK, Europe. I don't know where else they send them, but they send cats all over. So I actually found out about the Haven from Felicia, um, on Instagram she adopted her cat Apollo from there and I kind of like watched that and spoke to her about it and I followed the page on Facebook which I'll link down below I'll link everything down below just looking at all the cats they are so freaking adorable like gorgeous cats I was like I can do this I want to rescue a cat they've, they've got over 200 cats in their haven at the minute and so like they, they need rescuing, they need adopting. And like you could also sponsor a cat if you don't have the resources to adopt yourself. So you can sponsor one and help pay for their food and medical bills and stuff like that. All of them are microchipped and spayed or neutered and like healthy cats. Also everyone at the Haven is super duper sweet. Like everyone I've spoken to is super helpful and willing to talk to you about the cats and help you find the right cat for you and your space. And so when I spoke to um, the woman who runs the shelter, I basically said we have, we're all indoors, no catio, no backyard, no outside space at all. She won't be going outside. Um, and we want someone like calm and friendly. And she basically just like gave me a few different options. And then I saw Cleo, I saw her and I was like, this is the one, I, I, I want her in my life. So about a month after I told the Haven that I wanted to adopt Cleo, a UK based volunteer got in touch with me and scheduled a home visit. It was via Zoom, basically I walked her around our house and then we basically talked about all the stuff that you need to talk about in order to get a cat like can she get out like are people home during the day do you have lots of people over do you have other pets or children or whatever and then i think i got approved two weeks later basically they said cleo can fly to you on the 26th of march so two weeks later today is the 26th and i'm so excited this morning Cleo will be on a flight to the UK. She's going from Cairo to Heathrow 
and there she'll be checked in and stuff and then the UK volunteer will take Cleo and I think five other cats and keep them all in her house for two days and then they will be delivering Cleo to us on Sunday. It's so close. It's so close. I can like, I can feel it. That's all the information in our schedule. Back to plants. In the last two weeks, I have sold quite a few plants, probably about 15 or 20 plants that I just didn't really mind getting rid of. That is because one, I've got way too many. I've got so many. I don't need that many. I want that many, but I don't need them. Um, and a lot of plants are poisonous to animals and cats. And so one of my biggest worries about this whole thing has been, I don't want Cleo to get sick from eating plants. I don't ideally want her to knock them over. Obviously, I don't get a say in this completely, but I wanna try and make them all a little bit more inaccessible to her. But I've been trying to create more higher up planty spaces in my home. I have put up a grow light on top of my Ikea cabinet and a grow light on the top shelf of my like metal shelves. And I've taken all the plants off the bottom shelf and made it like storage of my soil and like fertilizers and stuff, got some boxes for there. Obviously I can't do that everywhere. There are bigger plants that I have. Those plants are the ones that I need to make sure that one, she doesn't use as a toilet, two, she doesn't eat, three, she doesn't just like absolutely destroy. So because she's had such a stressful journey, like she's had a day of flying and being in like a travel crate and stuff, and then two days at the volunteer's house and then going to getting in a car and traveling to us. That's a stressful time. So we're gonna start her out in one room of the house for a couple days, if not more. In that room, I didn't wanna make it plant free because my house is a planty household, but I'm going to put all of my pet safe plants in that room. So if she does have a nibble, it's not the end of the world, but I'm gonna have them in there. So like, it shows that this is just part of the house. I'm also going to make up a scented spray because cats don't like citrus. So I've got, I think, lemon essential oil and eucalyptus essential oil because they don't like the strong smells. And I'm going to make up a cat repellent spray to spray my plants, not the cat, I'm not gonna spray the cat, but spray my plants with so the scent just doesn't appeal to her. Because if, if, she, if she doesn't like the smell, then she's just not gonna be bothered. Basically, I wanna train her to not be bothered. Maybe I'm just overly optimistic, or maybe she won't care at all. It's hard to know without having met her, but that's my plan for everything. And now this has gone on so long, I've just been talking for ages, but I could talk about this forever because I'm so excited. T minus two days, everyone. Good morning. It is Saturday today. I'm kind of tired because I didn't sleep very well just because I was so excited about Cleo coming. So basically her flight arrived at Heathrow at like half 12 or so. And then the cats were brought to the animal reception center after their flight where they get checked and make sure that all of their records are up to date and they are the cats that they say they are. They ended up getting picked up from the animal reception center at nine o'clock in the evening. So they were there for quite a long time, but that is a place where they can be let out of their crates. So they have a little bit more room to run around and explore and not just be locked up in a crate. Yeah, so they had a good eight hours at the animal reception center and then they got driven by the volunteer and her husband to their house where they have what they call a kitty B&B &B, um, because they need to be staying there for 48 hours. So they brought all the cats and they are all staying in a bedroom with like loads of beds and food and like loads of love and we were getting pictures and videos of all of them. I'll we'll include a little video of Cleo exploring the window. It's really cute because I'm pretty sure she's gonna be quite like a sleepy kitty just based off of all the pictures I've ever seen of her. Um, she's been like 
laying down in a bed. A lot of the other cats I've seen have been like playing and doing other stuff, but the only things I've ever seen of her are her like laying down, which I think is pretty funny and cute and like that's fine because we're down for a lazy kitty. Obviously like whatever she is, we'll love her, but lazy kitty would be nice. Yeah, it, it's nice to see that she's safe and happy and like in a loving place at the minute. She's gonna be delivered tomorrow. <gasps> Like it's so exciting. It just like feels so surreal. It feels like it's not happening yet, but um, it is it's happening tomorrow The cat is gonna be here tomorrow. T minus one day I would need to sort all the plants in the office and make sure it's only the pet safe plants that are in there the ones off the top of my head that I know are like Maranta's and Calathea's, Calathea's, Hoya, which was a surprise to me. I thought for sure Hoya wouldn't be Spider plants, but I've only got one and eh, not worth putting it in there. Ferns, palms like the parlor palm, Kencha palm, Orisha palm. Those are all pretty cat friendly. Those things can all go in there. Monsteras, philodendrons, alocasias, pothos, scandapsis. All of those need to be taken out. I've got a ZZ in there. Yeah, so it's just a bit of rearranging and it's just for the beginning. I will put it back eventually once we've figured out how bothered she is by plants. And if she's not bothered, then it doesn't matter. So, it's fine. Cool, so I'm gonna do some rearranging. Let's do that. So these are my current shelves. These are the ones you see in my videos. There are some pet safe plants here, like the parlor palm and the marantas, but all them philodendrons need to go, monstera needs to go, the scandapsis need to go, more philodendrons. Like, I just don't want the plants to be a surprise to her. Like, I don't, I don't want it to be like, suddenly there's plants everywhere and I'm not used to this. Like, obviously it's a new space, so I'd rather her see it kind of what it's like then like have nothing and then introduce them because then it, it kind of like it's like oh what's this new thing for me i don't want that i want it to be this is just how the home is i've also just had a thought because i do want to spray them with the stuff i don't want to spray them in here to make the room smell not nice so i'm going to bring all of them into probably the bathroom so i can wash it down but bring all the plants that I want to have in here in the beginning in the bathroom and spray them down with that spray. So let's mix up the spray first. So I'm gonna let these dry for a little bit so they're not like dripping everywhere. And then I'm going to remove the toxic plants from the office. sorted now got some pet safe plants on this side got some pet safe plants on this side got some pet safe plants up there it's all pet safe it is Sunday excuse this very unprofessional setup it's the only place in this room that actually is light when it's cloudy because there's a window here laundry wet hair this is just the current state of being so it's what it is I've just gotten up and had a shower about to have breakfast but the Haven volunteer messaged us yesterday and we got the order of when they're gonna be delivered and we are fourth in the schedule. And so we're probably looking to have Cleo arrive like 1.30ish. She did mention that Cleo is feeling a little bit worse for wear. She didn't have the best time on her flight and she, her nose was a little bit banged up. Not in like a bad way the vet said it was nothing to worry about the airport vet but she's also got a bit of the sniffles which is totally normal for cats who've been on a plane they're not used to like the air conditioning so it's she's got a little bit of congestion and sniffles which like i heard the news last night and like honestly it made me cry i like i feel so bad like the poor girl it's such a scary experience but it's okay, she's gonna be here soon today and she'll have her forever home and we're gonna take such good care of her. But yeah, that's just the morning updates. Plant-wise, the plants in here, I don't, I genuinely don't smell them. And I'm like, not worried, but like a 
bit worried. We'll see. I'm just excited to meet her. And she might be a bit shy at first. Like, obviously, she's had a tough time. But, like, she's just a very chillaxed cat. <laughs> which is good. Which is what I think what we like. Because we're chillaxed people. T minus five hours until we get a cat. We're getting a cat. We're getting a cat. We're next on the delivery list. She'll be here in like an hour and a half. I'm so nervous. I've just gotten like a massive pang of anxiety and like my stomach is in my throat and like it's lunchtime, but I'm not hungry. I'm so, I'm nervous and excited and <sighs> so soon. T minus less than two hours. They're two minutes away. <sighs> We're about to get our cat. Like, right now. Yeah. Oh, I know you want to be home. Hi, baby. Hi, baby. Oh, she's so beautiful. Oh, she's a bit scared. That's okay. It's okay. Okay, wait, let me put the doll out. Do you want a bed? There's a bed. Oh, she's so scared. I know. It's all yours as well. Yeah, it's all oh, yours. Oh, yes. That feels good. Yeah, is that nice? It's all yours? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you like the chair. Oh, big sneeze. She's going for the plants already. A bit nervous about that. So we've just brought her in and we were sitting in the room with her and she was like nodding off to sleep because she's just so exhausted from such a long day um, or like a long three days. Um, so we decided we would let her sleep for a little bit and we set up like a kind of baby monitor style um, <laughs> set up. Basically Joe and I are FaceTime each other <laughs> so we can see what she's up to just to see like when she's woken up and stuff. Yeah, so that's that's what we're up to now. I'm um, just gonna give her a little bit of time to explore and start feeling comfortable with the room because I think she was quite stressed out because she doesn't know us, obviously. She doesn't know who we are. So that's what's happening right now. She's giving herself a bit of a groom inside one of the cat beds. And I think she'll probably set up for a nap. So yeah, we'll check back in later. Just look at them. Joe's just laying on the floor and she's sleeping on the bean bag. So freaking cute. So we've been in and out a couple of times. She has like looked at the plants, like she was on top of the chair at the beginning. She kind of like went up to kind of like look at the shelves, but she like didn't seem interested in them at all. Possibly it could have been because I sprayed them, but like she doesn't seem uncomfortable in the space, which is good. She's finally like getting down to sleep which is nice. I think we're just gonna watch her for a little bit. Let her sleep, cause she's obviously very tired. She's had an incredibly long few days and not very happy few days as well. So we'll give her some time to warm up, but this is so exciting. We have a cat. Basically all afternoon we spent on and off in here with her. She's getting used to us still. As for plants, she has been totally nonplussed about them. Her exploration is more so like, I want to get to the shelf than I want to touch the plants. She was like all up in it, but not like in the soil and not like biting the leaves, just like kind of weaving through the leaves. It doesn't seem like she cares too much, which I am really grateful for because I don't really want her eating them. She still hasn't let us pet her, which is totally fine take it at her pace, consent and everything. But she has, like, she's really comfortable with us being in the room. She's totally okay to, like, show her belly, which is a surprise. Like, not have us touch it, but show it. But then if we try and pet her, she's like, nah, brah. So, yeah, signing off for tonight. I say goodnight. 
Cleo, say goodnight. She has no idea what her name is. <laughs> <laughs> She's just busy making them biscuits. So today is Monday. I got home from work early, which was awesome, which means I got to hang out with Cleo for a lot longer. She's finally let me pet her. Like it melted my heart, she lets me pet her, which is amazing because that's all I wanna do. I wanna love her so much. In the night last night, uh, she didn't really bother anything. When we came in in the morning, the only thing that had been disturbed was the keyboard, which I think she tried to jump on top of the wardrobe from it, fine. And then my little like, hand sculpture from the background of my videos, that was, on the floor so like she obviously tried to get on the shelf but all of my plants were fine none of them looked nibbled i don't think she cares about them at all which is great trying to do the best we can she's still nervous around us obviously she's still not quite used to us but she's getting better every day i say every day every hour it's only been a day having a good time with her i think this is where i'm gonna end this vlog i don't know if it's gonna be any good at all or if you enjoyed it it's very different content wise for me but it's one of those things that I would want to watch this video so I'm gonna make it but if you did like the video please give it a thumbs up down below and leave a comment if you want to see more of Cleo I can make more videos about Cleo and updates on her and planty catty stuff if you want if not also tell me if you're not interested let me know because I cannot include it and subscribe for more. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Bye! Do you want to help me edit the video? What's that? What's that? You're going to edit the video? I think you're going to help me edit. Yeah, that's really good helping.